The lawyer for a local family whose son died on a soccer field is now talking to us about new allegations in a wrongful death lawsuit. Christian Hauser has the latest in our Athletes at Risk investigation. Nobody gave Matthew a chance. That's attorney Kevin Murphy. He's representing the family of Matthew Mangine Jr. in a wrongful death lawsuit. Matthew collapsed during the first day of soccer conditioning last June at St. Henry High School in Northern Kentucky. Been counting down one. Yes, um, I would need uh, assistance in, at St. Henry High, District High School. Okay, what's going on? Um, I have a young man that is on the ground um, having trouble breathing. His eyes are a little bit rolled back. Murphy filed an amended complaint Wednesday to a lawsuit initially filed a year ago. Murphy says he amended the complaint after new information came to light during the depositions and sworn testimony of the St. Henry soccer coach, athletic trainer, and then athletic director. And what we discovered uh, shocked us and dismayed us. St. Henry District High School, the Diocese of Covington, and St. Elizabeth Medical Center are the defendants in the lawsuit. The high school is a member of the Covington Diocese, and the athletic trainer is an employee of St. Elizabeth. Rarely do high school athlete deaths result in lawsuits that go as far as depositions. So we asked Murphy why he took up this case. I don't sue people unless I am absolutely certain that I, you know, I believe that they've done something wrong, that they are responsible. Part of the complaint focuses on venue-specific emergency action plans, which we've reported on extensively. Medical experts consider those EAPs to be part of the gold standard of sideline health and safety. We're at St. Henry High School. Um, we're at the practice field. Okay, is he responsive? Not. The amended complaint says that there was a draft EAP, but it was not for the practice field where Mangine collapsed. It was for the varsity soccer field, which is on the other side of the school. It was actually uh, very tough to hear about uh, all of the things that uh, happened uh, and didn't happen because of institutional failure. They, these things are of great concern and should be of great concern to all parents. St. Elizabeth is a medical partner that provides athletic trainers to 28 high schools in Northern Kentucky. The tragedy is he died because nobody did what they were supposed to do and what they were trained to do. I talked with Laura Keener from the Diocese of Covington who said it had no comment on pending litigation. I have called and emailed the school and St. Elizabeth for comment and am awaiting their response. Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. And a large part of the complaint is also focused on AEDs or defibrillators. We'll cover that in upcoming stories. Now, as for the trial, there is no date set, but the Mangine lawyers are hoping to have one for 2022. And you can review our previous stories on this lawsuit throughout the last year at athletesatrisk.com.